Top Town Excavation designed with DeepX software program. In this example, we will design a top down excavation between two diaphragm walls with DPEX. We can perform our design stage by stage manually using the tools existing in the general tab of DPEX over here, or we can use the model wizard of DPEX. In this example, we will present the use of our model wizard. First of all, we click on this button and here we can set the units for this project which will be English units. So we press OK and the Deep Wizard appears. In the first tab we can define the analysis method. In DeepX we can have limit equilibrium analysis, nonlinear analysis or a combination of the two methods. In addition, here we can define the classical earth pressure method. In the tab Dimensions, we can define the project type and some basic parameters for the project. We press this button in order to create a top-down excavation between two walls. Here on the left, we can define the project dimensions, so we can define that the final excavation depth should be at 45 feet. The wall length could be 60 feet, the excavation width, which is the distance between the two walls, can be defined at 60 feet, and the groundwater could be minus 25 feet. And here we have the options for the supports. We are going to use concrete slabs, so the horizontal spacing, which is actually the effective width of the slab, could be 1 feet and the structural section could be something like a 3 feet slab. We unclick this option in order to maintain the same structural section for all the slabs that we are going to use. Of course, uh, as soon as the model is ready, we can access each slab and modify manually their properties. We press next and here in the soil layers tab we can define the soil types and the stratigraphy. First, if we click on this button, the soil types dialog appears. Here we can add as many soils as we wish and we can manually edit their properties. Here we can define unit weights, drain strength, friction angle and we can apply our parameters for each soil type. If I press OK and we press this Edit Borings button, we press Yes and here we can define our stratigraphy. So at the top we have a fill layer, at elevation minus 10 feet we could have a sand, at minus 30 a clay layer and at minus 45 a more dense sand something like this and if I press OK now the boring is defined we will see the result as soon as we end using the wizard we press next and in the tab wall type we can define our wall section we press the edit section data button here and in the edit wall properties dialog that appears we can select the wall type which in this example will be a diaphragm wall so we press here we define the width of the wall which could be like uh, 2.5 feet and also we can define the materials and their enforcement here at 12 inches width we could have like three bars number nine and we will also use shear enforcement so I'll define the use of number seven bars placed every 12 inches and I press OK 
Next, in the tab stages, we have to define the support elevations. The first slab, which will be the top slab, I remind you that we will use a 36 inch slab, so uh, I define that the first slab will be at 1.5 depth. This is the center of the slab. The second could be at 15 feet depth. The third at 30 feet. The final excavation is at uh, 45 feet depth, so the base slab could be at 43.5. I press next. And here we can define to use a strip load, which could be something like 0 0.6 KSF, developed for 20 feet, starting 2 feet behind the wall. And on the last tab we can define the structural and geotechnical codes. In this example we will use service factors, so we will not apply a specific load. We press OK. And we can see that the software, the model wizard, automatically creates our model. Every item highlights on the screen the walls, the supports, and can be accessed by double-clicking on them. So we can define their properties, uh, change the options once again manually. Here we can see that the model wizard created all construction stages, so we can go stage by stage and review the progress of our model so we can see that in some stages there is the excavation and in some stages the slabs are activated and now we are ready to calculate our model we press this button in order to calculate the selected design section As soon as the analysis is completed, the analysis and checking summary appears where we can review some critical results like the maximum wall displacement, the settlement, uh, the wall moments and shears, the structural wall ratios for moment and for the shear, the maximum support reactions and the critical support checks. If we close this dialog in the results tab of DPEX, we can review graphically the results on the screen stage by stage. Here we can review the moment with the moment capacity of the wall. We can see the shear with the shear capacity. We can see the wall deflections. and the soil stresses. Thank you for watching this video. Visit our website in order to find more information about our software programs or feel free to contact us in order to learn about our special offers or to order a free online presentation.